Hey programmers, welcome back to Grandma 3 for Grandma 2 programmers. This week's episode is all about users and user profiles and what's new with them on the MA3. The concept is still the same. You still have a user and that user is associated with a user profile and the profile stores all of your personal configurations. Our users are available in a couple of places. Let's start with the user pool. All new shows will have the users guest, admin, and 3D. Here in the demo show file, there's an extra user called on PC, which you might find handy because the views have been updated with smaller windows for when you're using the default scale. One way to change users is just to click one here in the pool. Another way is to type log and then the name and please into the command line. You should also notice that every time you change your user, the command line updates to show the name that you're logged into. If your user has a password, then you'll get a pop-up to enter it in. And if you remember the administrator user from Grandma 2 and even Grandma 1, that user's name used to be administrator and the password was admin. On Grandma 3, they've changed the name to admin and there's no password. If you edit a user here in the pool, it's a shortcut to the user config options for just that user. All of these options are also available in another window that's called user configuration. But in that window, we can see all of the user's options at once. To get there, press menu, then settings and pick user configuration. This window is a little closer to the user and profile setup window we know from the grandma too. There's a tab for users and a tab for profiles. Users still get a name, a password if you like, a profile assignment, and user rights. You can now also lock a user or assign a scribble or appearance. There are a couple of languages available, and along with that, you can change your user's keyboard and their screen configuration. Switching to profiles, you can see there's a lot of options that are programmer preferences, stuff like your readouts and speeds. Adding a new profile is just like what we did on the MA2. I'm clicking New User Profile and calling it Cat. I'm going back to User and I'm making my Cat User. And then I'm going to pick that profile that I just created. This should all feel familiar. Something else we do a lot on MA2 is we'd copy profiles to assign to a new user and then tweak from there. Same idea here. In Profiles, I'm picking Default, and then clicking Copy, then this empty line, and pressing Paste. I'm also going to update the name. You don't have to because it's all referencing numbers, but I find it less confusing. Now, back to User, and I'm setting Cat's profile to be the copy. Now I can log in as Cat, and I'm starting with all the views and settings from the default profile, but I can change mine without worrying that I'll affect the original default profile. We can still export our profiles internally, or better yet, to a thumb drive, and then import them into another show file. When logging in as the same user on multiple consoles in the same session, it will work just as we remember, keeping in sync with each other, giving you that full tracking backup. There is something new in the user config window, and that's the tab called pools. This has to do with data pools, which is something we'll need to talk about more in a future video. The basic idea is that each data pool would contain their own collection of presets, sequences, pages, groups, macros, lots of stuff. And each profile could be associated with their own data pool, or everyone can just work in the same pool. In the next video, we're going to work with the patch. Thanks for watching.